You're listening to Design Between the Lines, the only design and home furnishings podcast where we talk with the movers and shakers, industry innovators, and lifetime legends of the home furnishings industry. It's here that I get a chance to sit and chat with the influencers shaping the industry into what it is today and to learn a little bit more about life in their world. Katina Suarez Roscoe is a furniture designer and founder of Katina Unlimited Design in Greensboro, North Carolina. I think that designing furniture is not rocket science. Mm -hmm. I think that we as designers have to just observe and look at the world around us. So identifying those lifestyles and then designing to that, creating, creating um, designs that that individual will be able to uh, relate to. And, mm -hmm. and, and will also be able to create their own expression in their home, in mm -hmm. their environment. Um, you know, expressing their true personality through that furniture. I have uh, a couple of domestic manufacturers uh, here in the U.S. Uh, that I do design work, uh, hardened furniture and Bork Holder furniture. Bork Holder, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Well, uh, Bork Holder is very interesting. Uh, it is an Amish manufacturer, an Amish company. Uh, they have a parent company, Country Wood Products. So Country Wood Products is a state-of-the-art manufacturing facility for kitchen cabinets. Um, Ola Yoder, the owner of the company, uh, purchased Bork Holder Furniture. That was quite a viable furniture manufacturer many years ago, uh, and it had kind of dwindled. Uh, the, the reason that Mr. Yoder purchased Bork Holder was to put his community to work. Okay. So um, he purchased, he, and his love of furniture, of course, mm -hmm. but to put his community back to work. Mm -hmm. And um, then looking at designs and trying to move the company forward and, and a little bit out of that stereotype of the Amish product, mm -hmm. uh, then I came around. Uh -huh. So uh, I am trying to develop product for them from a sense of fashion. Uh, more current, uh, the Amish manufacturers, the Amish craftsmen can build anything. Wow. And it's beautiful. Fantastic. Uh, so just with a little... Uh, tweaking in mm -hmm. the right direction and a connection to that end consumer, as we discussed before, mm -hmm. um, I think uh, I think they'll take off. I think they'll they'll have good opportunities ahead. It's about telling a story, mm -hmm. and uh, Bork Holder, for instance, uh, ha has a wonderful story uh, with the Amish heritage. And now throw uh, a passionate Cuban into the mix, and wow, <laughs> no <laughs> telling where we go. <laughs> so as young, younger, fresher vibrant lifestyles come into play, then we too need to focus our designs. Um, not just from the perspective of old, of creating suits of furniture any longer, but of creating uh, designs that will cater to, again, the lifestyles, the, the way, and lifestyles is almost a misnomer, uh, the way that young people choose to live their life the style of living, the pace of their life, the energy of their life, all of that comes into play into our designs and I think needs to be considered in the future of our industry. I want to thank my guest Katina Suarez Roscoe for joining me today and discussing her philosophy on the importance of designers in this industry and the designs that have a story to tell.